When you ask people about addiction, typically this is what comes to mind. But many other behaviors fall into the definition of addiction. The Center for Addiction and Mental Health, or CAMH, defines addiction as the presence of the four C's. Craving, loss of control of amount or frequency of use, compulsion to use, use despite consequences. There's a combination of factors that tie in to becoming addicted to a substance or exhibiting addiction behaviors, such as genetics, the environment, mental health, and coping with thoughts and feelings. Compulsive buying disorder essentially applies this addictive behavior and channels it towards purchasing items in excess. A study in the Journal of Addictive Behavior and Therapy and Rehabilitation defines compulsive buying disorder as a repetitive cycle of sudden, intense, and irresistible urges to acquire consumer goods, followed by uncontrolled and excessive buying of items that frequently go unused. Though the activity is gratifying in the moment, major long-term consequences of CBD, or compulsive buying disorder, include impaired social and occupational functioning, significant emotional distress, and financial or legal complications, but despite this, the excessive buying continues. People with CBD often describe an increasing level of urgency or anxiousness that can only lead to a sense of completion when a purchase is made. This occurs in four distinct phases, anticipation, preparation, shopping, and spending. In the first phase, the person with CBD develops thoughts, urges, or preoccupations with either having a specific item or with the act of shopping. Rebecca, you just got a credit card bill of $900. You do not need a scarf. In the second phase, the person prepares for shopping and spending, which can include decisions on when and where to go, on how to dress, and even which credit cards to use. That'll be $120. How would you like to pay? Here's $50 in cash. Can you put 30 on this card? 10 on that? 20 on that? The third phase involves the shopping experience itself, which many individuals with CBD describe as intensely exciting and can even lead to a sexual feeling. And finally, the act is completed with a purchase, often followed by a sense of disappointment with oneself. Negative emotions like depression, anxiety, boredom, self-critical thoughts, or anger are the most commonly cited emotional precursors to an episode. While euphoria or relief from the negative emotions were the most commonly cited consequence following one. CBD is classified as an obsessive compulsive spectrum disorder, or more specifically an impulse control disorder, like kleptomania, the impulse to steal, or pathological gambling. In fact, one of the first people to describe CBD clinically, Paul Eugen Boiler, called it an example of impulsive insanity. Reports of the prevalence of CBD is estimated at 5.8% of the population in the United States, making it a relatively common disorder. However, this problem is not limited to the U.S. Reports of its prevalence have surfaced around the world from Canada, England, Germany, France, Spain, and Brazil. The age of onset is usually late teens or early 20s, with some researchers and clinicians attributing this to the individual first leaving home and establishing their first credit accounts. In the mid-1990s, a study characterized the typical compulsive buyer as a 36-year-old woman who had developed compulsive buying at the age of 17 and a half years and whose buying had resulted in adverse psychosocial consequences. Many studies often characterize CBD as a mostly female disorder. However, studies like the one conducted by Corin and colleagues in 2006 show 2,513 men and women represented a near equal percentage of CBD occurrence with 5.5% of surveyed men and 6% of surveyed women displaying the characteristics of CBD. In terms of genetics, there's also been evidence of CBD running in families. And in addition, these families present with mood, anxiety, and substance abuse disorders very commonly. Many studies have found patients often present with psychiatric comorbidity, the presence of more than one psychiatric disorder. Numerous studies have linked the majority of CBD patients with at least one other disorder, such as mood and anxiety disorders, other impulse control disorders like intermittent explosive disorder, and finally, eating disorders. Given what Mueller and colleagues have called a substantial psychiatric comorbidity, 
There has been a debate whether or not compulsive buying represents a distinct psychiatric disorder or an epiphenomenon of other psychiatric disorders. A 2016 study in Spain looked specifically at CBD and gambling disorder in over 3,000 patients. The two disorders have similar behavioral patterns. Both are impulse control disorders and buying and gambling behavior stem from similar impulsive compulsive aspects, like the failure to resist the impulse, drive, or temptation to perform an act, even though it could be harmful to yourself or others in order to achieve immediate gratification or relieve a negative emotion. Interestingly, the study found that people diagnosed with CBD are very often also suffering from gambling disorder, but those previously diagnosed with gambling disorder very rarely develop CBD. This led the researchers to determine it is a distinct impulse control disorder warranting more research into CBD. In terms of treatment, the most promising has been CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, with a randomized controlled trial finding those enrolled in group cognitive behavioral therapy displayed significantly less compulsive buying behavior than persons with CBD who did not enroll in treatment. If you believe you might be suffering from CBD, there are treatments available for you like CBT or public support groups similar to Alcoholics Anonymous like Overspending Anonymous.